everyone welcome to this channel this is Sandeep Das and today I'll be talking about AWS support now why why should you be using AWS support that's the important question that that's first comes to mind see first thing is that AWS support if you have any time any questions and you need immediate uh, solution for that you can always reach out to AWS support but AWS support have plans and everything I'll be coming just right after this uh, let me tell you first thing about the limits where do you need the most? I mean, at, at the beginning, you may not feel like it. I mean, if you're not raising that many issue, you, you may not reach out to support. But you will face a situation where you'll be facing about limits. So what are the limits? As exam, I'm just showing you the example. Uh, if you see the example here, for suppose you are going to run 20 machine uh, in the EC2, and you in the life you have never run EC2 before. So you're going to hit the limit. How? This this is here. So. First of all, if you need any elastic IP, that is static IP, but you have a limit of five, soft limit, it can be reached, it can be increased by reaching out to customer support. Uh, and if you ask them to increase it, they will increase it. But before increasing, you have you will hit the hard. I mean, by the limit. Okay. So security group limit have 500 limits. Rule part security group uh, for EC2 Classic is 100. Uh, I think key pairs maximum 5000 key pairs if you're using SSH key that uh, PAM key is generated by AWS then you also there is a 5000 limit for that placement group has a 500 limit and this is okay and this is, this is a uh, on-demand instances quota very depending on instance type for C on-demand instance quota so I'm just showing you the instance quota and it's a good example I mean if you never use it before you will never get to know about it okay Running on demand instance ACDH so default CPU limit 1152. Uh, running on demand F instances G, uh, G instances. I think most of the cases will be running on AM. I mean, normal instances will be on the AM or T. So just for example, T, so like this one T and Z. Uh, M also the M and T will be most running. So 1152 instances CPUs. I mean, uh, 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 virtual CPU 1152. If you increase more on that part, you will hit the limit. You will, you will see the new instance get not getting launched. There, there is auto scaling enabled, or similar kind of issues. So you can always ask to the, I mean, go to the, uh, you know, uh, see this is the limit increase from. Click on click on, and you will be directed to the support page. You can come and see the field will automatically automatically getting populated. Just mention the region, and that's it. You will be able to increase the limit. So you have to first know about what are the limits uh, are set for each resource. Suppose you want to start a project before starting the project and I mean, still you're going to start the project and you know this card, this is the services that I'm going to utilize. If it's for development, it's okay if normal resources will not get utilized that much in the development phase. But if you're thinking about the production environment, you never know I mean, if the higher load is there, then there will be high uh, resource consumption then there will be more instances or more resources whatever services using that is needed but you never know they're going to uh, hit the limit there could be some limit you don't know so before starting production level projects it's always always and always uh, uh, it's a good thing if you just before before start i mean before making production ready make sure you enable uh, you check you come and check in the limit sections how you can do just go and google i mean search in google for that anyway in the post i will just uh, i mean in the uh, the video description i'll mention it so don't worry these are the all the services suppose you want to see limit for s3 just example see amazon s3 you'll see the limits uh, come to down this video come down these are the endpoints so yeah both the endpoints are there okay service quotas buckets 100 per account by default, you can create up to 100 buckets. However, you can request a quota increase up to 1000 buckets per AWS account. Now, that 1000 is the hard limit. You cannot uh, increase more than that. If you want to have it, you can get AWS uh, organization and have separate account. Under that account, you can generate it. That's up to you. And replication transfer rate at 1 GPS. The maximum SC replication time control transfer rate you can replicate from service region by AWS region. So, you have to know about this limit very fast. Otherwise, in the later, uh, when you go, go more and it's like big projects, you might face some kind of issues if you never uh, imagined uh, before. So always make sure of that part. Okay. Similarly, whatever uh, services, suppose I'm showing you the uh, EC2, suppose RDS. So I'm gonna, what are the uh, uh, endpoint? You can see it here. What are the limits? You can see default quota. 
authorization per DB securities default 20 blast uh, balance is 3000 IPS, IPS and a cross region uh, cross region snapshot uh, copy request pipe so these are the, the, the you can see all these right these are the default limits so you should know about that if you want to increase any of the limit you can always go to the you know support how can you go to support just if you are, if you are a new user in AWS just go and search for support if you click on support and there is a create case right click on the create case now there is three options account billing support uh, what are the option type like account management billing any query you might have you can okay suppose i'm setting account now you'll see the category categories like activation in account it is as per the basic uh, like main type the category element to access account. whatever is the reason you can search for it the reason if you don't have it you can have like search for the custom one that's up to you subject mention the subject in brief make sure give all the description available and any screenshot of suppose if you facing an issue you can always give the details here okay similarly uh, this is the account the billing so all are there this is for service this is the part where i'm talking about if you have limits you can search for the service particularly suppose ec2 uh, ec2 classic or say ec2 mm, ec2 let's say it's easy to classic just for example now general questions then you can do with the region suppose asia pacific limit and the part instance uh part instance the security group par region rules public so whatever the new limit you want to set you can set it here okay suppose i want to do it for uh, uh suppose us i can search words like virginia what you want whatever i need it uh, it's easy to classic easy to email easy to instances Suppose you want to increase the limit of the basic uh, instance limit, okay? So you can search for the EC2 instance. You need thousand instance, just for example, just for the sake of example, I'm saying. Then you can always go here and and do that. And if you come here and go for the uh, US, you will see the US. Whatever region you are seeking to improve, you can do that. And primary instance, uh, primary instance type. Say it could be all standards like A, C, D could be and so how many you want you can specify the limit here it's up to you these are the things now comes the technical support you are facing any kind of technical support now you will see uh, a technical support is unavailable under basic support plan now let's come why so aws have plans this is a developer plan which is you know uh, like now it's a, it's a basic plan uh, it's, let me show you see technical support is unavailable under basic support plan so I want a basic support plan, but if I want to increase it, increase to a level developer, then uh, greater than uh, uh, 29, uh, three percent a month. So whatever is greater, if your char if your account is not generating enough bill, that is uh, suppose three percent of something, okay, is more than 29, then that amount will charge the higher amount. If it's less than 29, they will charge minimum 20 amount, 20 uh, sorry, 30 dollar amount. If suppose uh, your business you are running instance i mean resources and all this kind of thing you're utilizing if the you know uh, you know billing of that is 10 percent of your total suppose 10 percent of total that uh, billing is more than 100 then they will take suppose 120 10 percent is 120 dollar of the cost you are uh, you have uh, utilized in the aws now of that if it's 120 is greater than 100 then they will charge a $120. If suppose it's less than uh, $100, like 90, 40, 50, whatever, they will charge minimum $100. And same goes for the enterprise. They will charge minimum 15,000. If 10% of the total bill is more than 15,000, they will take, suppose it's 20,000 or 15,100, $15,000 or $1, uh, they will charge the, that one plus value. Whatever is greater than the uh, 15,000. If it's less than, suppose 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 if you are under sub uh, enterprise brand they will take minimum of $15,000 so based on the organization you are in I mean based on that only it will it will be uh, you know you can see it here see they have given the pricing example just like this one you can see see so suppose 2000 monthly dollar in AWS charges and 2000 30% 60 3% the total bill will be 60 not 30 because it's the greater one okay same for all that okay now um, what are the like this is the pricing part 
support plan if you come here like what are included okay aws starter advisor seven check uh, in, in the developer plan all checks are business and enterprise enterprise technical support business hours email access to cloud support asso associate unlimited cases one primary uh, so you can get unlimited cases and business hours only they will be answering that now if it's uh, if it's a business plan then 24 into 7 by phone email chat access to the cloud support engineers unlimited cases unlimited contacts okay uh, let me suppose what is the you know, context bar suppose you you know about the uh, aws users right so i am users only one i am is only one is it. the i am or the root user can have this one but uh, i think it's a root user most probably uh, but business uh, business it will be unlimited cases and any any i am user can get the support and of course enterprise everything is available anyway uh, so case sensitivity response time general guidance less than 24 hours system impact less than 12 hours so any request you send to them they are liable uh, to answer that within 12 hours i mean uh, if it's a system impaired issue the system is down or some something bad happened if it's normal one they will be answering within 24 hours same uh, in the business uh, general guidance they will be uh, like 24 hours system impaired 12 hours production like it's a so not the development but the production system then they will be charging uh, to uh, like they will be answering within four hours and production is down that is one hour so this is the uh, business uh, you know case sensitivity response time and of course uh, enterprise you can see similar now business critical system down that means you are you are ultimately you are paying fifteen thousand dollar right so your problem will be if something is very 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 urgent they will be they will solve that within 15 uh, they will not completely solve they will give it their best within 15 minutes they will try to get a solution and handle out everything okay architecture guidance general uh, contextual to your use cases consultative review and guideline based on your application so it's like in depth it's like overview is like very general kind of thing not that much into depth um, programmatic case management of course aws api uh, support api available in the business and the enterprise not in the developer third party software, uh, software support in and configuration guidance uh, and troubleshooting available trouble uh, configuration guidance and troubleshooting both are you can use in third party software proactive program access to infrastructure event management for additional fee infrastructure event management well activity reviews operation i mean in the enterprise of course you will, uh, will get more and more okay and yes you will get a technical dedicated technical uh, or tam coordinate access to programs and other AWS express needed so it's like you will have a lot more access to be honest um, training aws to or uh, access to online self-paced labs account assistance yes you will getting you will get a uh, constant support team a dedicated team for that uh, pricing of course i've shown there also i'm just showing now greater than uh, greater than of 29 uh, dollar per month or three percent of the thing what is very higher similar for uh, like greater than 100 dollar per month that is minimum is 100 dollar or whatever if it's any higher amount that is more than 100 dollar they will charge the same okay this is how it is so how are we going to create case just click on the create case just for this you know as one more uh, one more thing uh just let me show you the uh the, just a moment now so this is about the aws trusted advisor so if i go to trusted advisor you'll see now what is trusted advisor trusted advisor you can see like more suggestion on how to reduce cost if some security problem is there they will make sure that you maintain the security properly fault tolerance so I mean, they will give suggestion now i am since the test account i'm not running much thing here so you will not see much here but if you are running production system you will get a they will have a lot of data and they will analyze it right and against that analyzing they will give the report here so cost performance you see i'm not getting the performance but i'm getting uh, i'm not getting the cost optimization i'm not getting security much i think security part is okay um fault tolerance i'm not getting it i have to update support plan to get it service limits service limits are all fine so you can check if any any service limit are reaching out of i mean is going out of your control or not that kind of thing you can always verify that's a good thing if you if you want to make sure that you're you're not out of the limits so you can always come here and check it okay and then you can make support request based on that you will we'll get more uh, your limit will be increased so this is wanted to show you how to use this one next i'm going to show you i mean i've covered already i am i've covered the um, uh, ec2 
uh, I covered S3. Now I want to cover before moving to any other service. I want to move. I want to explain about this uh, support plans. So after this uh, is already done. Now I'll be uh, doing next session on the AWS RDS. Okay. So stay tuned. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe to the channel and show me your support. That's matter a lot to me. And of course, if you have any question, you can always ask me on LinkedIn. Send me a message. Right? You have, you have free access to me. So do as you like. Okay. Thank you for watching till now. And yeah, see you again.